hello everyone welcome back to the channel if you are new around here welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank y'all so much for coming back i do appreciate you guys being here you will see the same get up i am bulk recording um if you find any value in this content please make sure you hit that subscribe button the bell notification button and leave me a comment down below also make sure you follow me over on my podcast channel i just released another episode over there and follow me over on instagram if you want to get like a some day-to-day -day, you know feedback and insight from me so thank you guys so much for being here let's get started so this video is talking about some dividend stocks that is on our watch list a lot of you guys constantly recommend different dividend stocks and stuff in the comments to me like every video that i have which you know i really do appreciate because it tells me that you guys are invested in our journey um that you guys you know are finding some value in the videos that i post um and that you just want to see us you know continue to get our dividend income and it lets me know that you guys are really um researching and finding different companies and funds that may be good for you and you like shalice check this out check this out so thank you guys so much so i created a watch list based off of all these companies and funds you guys keep um talking to me about and i'm going to go through them really quickly and kind of let you know like um, okay i like this i don't like this um and things like that so this is our current robin hood portfolio that you see up on your screen um and it is what what is today may 4th so all of my star wars fans may the 4th be with you um and the market is down this account was like at 50 i think it was like at fifty thousand. let me go back past week or so it was like at 50 yeah look at this it was at fifty thousand dollars you see this drop off right here well we got the debt ceiling crisis and i think another bank collapse so there's a lot of craziness going on right now in the market but i buy and hold long term and you can see some of our positions over here i'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit if i can um but uh we have currently one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13 positions in this particular portfolio. This portfolio is built and structured for dividends, so funds and different stocks. Um, this is just something that we like to do when I say we, my husband and myself. Um, and um, you can see that some of these, we already achieved our share size goals. And so I'll go over that quickly before I head to the watch list. Um, so you can see right here, BP, we have over 100 shares here 100 shares we're up about 20 percent here this is not a portfolio update so that's why i'm not going to go through all of them but i'm trying to do road to income you guys know we had over 100 shares there already we have 100 shares in main street so that's great um and we have 100 shares and in, my internet's a little slow altria ticker symbol mo so we hit our goal for this 100 shares here let's see i think maybe one or two more you guys know about qild and all of that et okay and then i'm gonna share with you one new company that was added to this hold on yeah so et 125 shares actually there and then et not et dgro this is the newest one added here okay um i've had this on my watch list for a while but i wanted to wait until i reach some of the other shares size goals so we were able to buy 100 shares of this. Again, the bonus hit. So this is one of the things that, you know, we were able to do. I really, really do like this fund. It's big in the dividend world. And so I really am going, I love this. And I'm going to do a video about DGRO, but I wanted to let you guys know that we have it here. But the one great thing I like about Robinhood is that it allows you to create watch lists, okay? And different types of lists. So this one is named Dividends. <laughs> And guys, again, thank you so much for all of the like, Shalise, check this out. Shalise, check this out. Um, one thing I want to do add before I go any further, it is not our goal. When I say our, my husband and I, it's not our goal to own every single dividend stock or every single dividend fund on the market. Um, why? Because number one, we'll be spreading ourselves too thin. We will not be able to get to 100 shares in this company or 100 shares in this fund if we had 50, 60, 70 different individual stocks that is not something i recommend for any investor now this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor or fiduciary though i mean i do share real numbers you see the account right here but that's something that was one of the mistakes i did when i got started is i had like 50 like like every single company i could think of i was putting like a dollar here five dollars here ten dollars there and i never really saw any progress because i was spread to thin that's why i'm always saying like just pick two to five maybe a 
two uh, individual stocks, maybe three funds or just one start with VTI or VOO or SCHD and just build from there versus having so many. So again, I want to reiterate that um, is that my husband and I, we do not have a desire to own every single. There's multiple monthly paying dividend companies. There's multiple monthly paying dividend funds. It's not our, uh, you know, like our goal to own every single thing. We find things that we like, that we believe in and we build, 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 build. It feels really good to have 100 shares in one stock versus, you know, a lot of tiny, you know, like positions and a bunch of stocks. I don't really see any growth just from my perspective over the years. And so I just wanted to put that out there. OK, so you see this is 36 items on this list. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all these, but these are just some of the top ones that you guys keep telling me to look at. So we have stag right here. Now, stag is definitely one we want to add. But again, I'm trying to make sure the allocation of the portfolio. We have some real estate. So realty income is real estate. Um, and so again, if we have a lot in real estate, we want to make sure we build up some of the other sectors. Fun fact, there are 11 sectors in the stock market. So again, diversification, right? This is something that we want because when the market is crashing, you don't want everything in financials. You don't want everything in tech. You don't want everything in, com in consumer staples. You want to be like diversified. This is why funds are great. So like JEPI, SCHD, VTI, VOO, all those are great because they're funds. They're a basket of a bunch of companies. But Stack Industrial is on our radar. Um, so is Gladstone Land, which is another one. They invest in a lot of farmland. And I actually am thinking I like this one a little bit more than Stag because, you know, like farmland is so crucial just to us living um, in this country. So, you know, I, that's just my personal opinion. Then we have Gladstone Investments. And now a lot of these stocks was in that video that I did when I shared all of the monthly paying dividend stocks for 2023. I did an in-depth video on a lot of these different positions. I'll have it somewhere on the screen, but make sure you check that video out if you want to get like some details and also share the website. I love um, that website a lot. I think it's simplysafedividends.com and it actually ranks all of like the dividend companies from best to worst. So again, just because a company pays a dividend doesn't mean it's good. Realty incomes actually ranked very safe. Some of the other monthly paying dividend companies are ranked, you know, like very unsafe. So don't put your money in a company just because it pays a dividend. If you're not seeing any, you know, like stability, if it's not any longevity, if you don't believe in the management, if you don't know what companies are inside the fund or you don't believe in the stock, just make sure, you know, just some caution there. OK, uh, we have essential utilities. We have um, Starbucks. Starbook, which I also have heard of. I am looking at it's a shipping company. They have quite a bit of debt on board. So I, you know, that's why I said I got to do some more research on this. Um, I don't, it doesn't mean that we won't invest in a company just because it has debt. We just want to make sure that, um, you know, we, we need to do our research. That's something that I do. I'm a researcher and I need to be confident in whatever, you know, we're putting our money into. Okay. Next is medical properties trust. I think this is probably one of the ones that I get. Uh, recommended so much from you guys um, is Medical Properties Trust. I've, I'm on the fence about this one right now. I've heard of this company. I get it that they invest like in clinics and hospitals and different things. I'm, I'm on the fence about it. So um, that's just me personally. Um, again, it's a REIT and you guys know I love REITs, um, but I'm not too sure and I will not put my money in anything that I'm not 100% sure about or my husband. Um, but let me know how you guys positions are in this. I know this is down quite a bit, um, in the past, like, like couple years. Um, so let me know how your positions are doing. Okay. And like, you know, be open with me. Like, are you up? Are you down? And if so, how much? Um, EPD, this is another one that's coming in, but we already have a lot of energy right now. Um, and so we want, again, going back to my point a little bit earlier about, you know, allocation in terms of across the sectors and being diversified, you know, having a bunch of our portfolio in energy or real estate is not as ideal because again, if one sector falls and crashes, um, then our whole account will. So I think once we hit some more of our other share size goals and we can build up more of Coca-Cola, build up more of some of the other positions. And when we get our, to our share goals, um, this is one of the ones. So I believe it was EPDs. I'm trying to let you guys know what's like the, the next three. We, we added three new ones, which I'll have a video about later. Um, life storage is another one that I've been looking at. It's really expensive. It's $132. Um, but again, you know, people, 
you know, are putting their stuff in storage. And that's real estate, believe it or not. A lot of people don't think like farmland or um, factories or um, storage facilities are really considered real estate, but they really are. Um, let's see. I know this is a, a, a ETF here, SDIV. That was one flower foods, but you know, I, you know, I don't know. Devo, I, this was one that we really, we think we're going to get into. I shared it in our monthly investing plan. If we get into this, I'm thinking it would be like 25, 50 shares. It has a, um, a higher expense ratio, but I want to track it a little bit longer to see how it turns out. We also have Archers, Daniels, Midland, and we have Procter Gamble, which I really, really do like. I know someone asked me about Pepsi. Again, personally, I am more of a Coke person um, in terms of company and all of that. But again, both of them are great. But it just, again, it's our money and our portfolio. So we prefer Coke. But if you like Pepsi, again, it's like choosing between Lowe's and Home Depot. You really, they both are great. You just got to figure out which one you like more. And then you put your money in it and you, cause you believe in it and you just hold um, long term. But I mean, yeah, all of these companies down here, <laughs> you guys, I know a lot of you ask me about Palantir. They don't even pay a dividend. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's just interesting. Um, but I appreciate you guys. Like, look, Carvana, I know somebody was asking me about Carvana, like invest in that. I'm not investing in Carvana. Again, it's about making sure you believe in it. I will not, again, put our money in anything I do not believe in. Um, so let me know down below what is on your watch list. I mean, not what you have, but what's on your watch list. Like, let me know one company or one fund that you are watching that you're thinking you want to, um, um, get into, but, um, I'm liking what we have so far. So let me know down below again, what you guys are looking at, how your portfolio is doing. Um, are you up? Are you down? I like chatting with you guys again. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you need some extra help behind the scenes, book a session with me. I have 30, I have an hour. Um, and you can just, we can talk privately just like this and really help you get on the track to whatever your financial goals are. Again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.